Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. So I have completed the first chapter of CA Foundation Accounting. The first three videos I have explained you about the meaning of the term accounting, definition of accounting, objectives, functions, users of accounting and the subfields of accounting, how the accounting is related with other disciplines and how the accountant will serve the society. All these things I have explained in the first three videos for chapter number one. Now in chapter number two, I am going to explain you about the accounting concepts, accounting principles and accounting conventions. So before starting the explanation of these terms, take the screenshot of the points, then I will explain. Now, <clears throat> the accounting concepts which I am going to explain in this unit, in this chapter are Entity concept, business entity concept, money measurement concept, periodicity concept, accrual concept, matching concept, going concern concept, cost concept, realization concept, dual aspect concept, conservatism, consistency, materiality. All these are the concepts and conventions I am going to explain. But before that, a student must know what is the meaning of the term accounting concept, accounting principles and accounting conventions. So first, I'll explain you about accounting concepts. Accounting concepts are the basic assumptions or the conditions which should be followed by accountants while maintaining the accounts in order to prepare the financial statements. See here, there are different accounting methods. Suppose if we give the task of finding out the profit to different accountants, they will find out the profit in their own way without following any rules. So accounting is a science which consists of some rules and regulations that every accountant must follow. Then only we can be able to have some similar and some consistency, some reliability of the accounts. Otherwise, every accountant will follow the method in their own way. So these accounting concepts are the basic assumptions on, the, on which the accountants will prepare the accounts and will prepare the financial statements. So certain concepts are perceived, assumed and accepted in accounting to provide underlying structure. So before recording the transactions, before making the financial statements, some assumptions should be made by the accountant. If those assumptions are followed, then definitely every accountant will have the same output. That means same records, same financial statements. The word concept means the idea or notion or conditions which has universal application. So throughout the world, every country, wherever accounts are prepared, the accounts are prepared on the basis of some assumptions. And if these assumptions are universally followed, then we can be able to compare we can be able to rely on the accounts. Concepts are those basic assumptions and conditions which form the basis upon which the accountancy has been laid. Now, the importance of concept. The accounting concepts are the foundation of whole accounting structure. Complete accountancy is based on accounting concepts. So these are the assumptions on which the complete accountancy is based. So we must know what are the assumptions, what are accounting concepts. <clears throat> Next, accounting principles. Actually, accounting principles are the rules, procedures, doctrines, which should be followed by accountants while maintaining the accounts. So these are the fundamental assumptions, whereas accounting principles are the doctrines or rules. So accounting principles are body of doctrines commonly associated with theory and procedure of accounting. That means the complete theory and procedure of accounting that should be considered while making the accounting principles or accounting rules. So every accountant must follow those rules to bring uniformity 
to bring reliability in accounting. That is the reason why all the accounts are made within the framework of GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles. This GAAP is applied to remove the confusion, to remove the disparity in the treatment of accounting procedures. So to remove the confusion, remove the account, uh, this uh, to bring uniformity, certain accounting principles has to be followed. That is gap and theory and procedure serving as an explanation of current practices and as a guide for selection of conventions or procedures where alternative exist. See, there are different alternative methods are available. Now, an accountant has to select any one of the method in order to prepare the financial statements. So these accounting principles will guide the accountants in order to select the accounting methods. We don't have a single method of accounting. Different methods are there. The accountant has to select. So these accounting principles will help the accountant in selecting the accounting method. Now, accounting, accounting principle must satisfy the following conditions. Whichever accounting principles we are following, rules we are following, the conditions to be followed. The first one, they should be based on actual or on real assumption. That means the accounting principles should be based on real assumptions. Real assumptions. Secondly, they must be simple, understandable and self-explanatory. It should not be complicated. The accounting principle can be easily understandable to everyone. It should be explanatory. Third one, they must be followed consistently. The accounting principles once adopted should be continued, should be consistently followed. It should not be changed. If accounting principles are frequently changed, then we cannot be able to compare the performance of one year with another year, one company with another company. So there should be consistency in following the accounting principles. Third, they should be able to reflect future predictions. The accounting uh, principles should be such that we can be able to make the future predictions easily. Last one, they should be informational for the users. That means the users can be able to understand on what basis these financial statements are prepared. What are the rules followed by the accountant in making the financial statements? The user will get the complete knowledge about the financial statements if they know on what principles they have adopted, they have made. Now, accounting conventions. I have explained you accounting concepts and accounting principles. Now, accounting conventions. Accounting conventions are the practices which are followed by accountant in a particular area or particular region because the conditions will change from one country to another country. So that's why accounting should be based according to the practices followed by that area. So accounting conventions emerge out of accounting practices commonly known as accounting principles. So normally, normally these terms accounting principles, accounting conventions are synonymously used interchangeably used principles and conventions not much difference simply we can understand accounting conventions are the practices which are followed by accountant in preparing the financial statements uh, adopted by various organizations over a period of time so these conventions are derived by usage and practice by usage and practice these conventions are formed like for in india in India, we have a convention, we have a, I mean, a usage practice, particular practice. So considering that particular practice usage in India, then conventions are made. And every accountant in India must follow those conventions while preparing the financial statements. Next one, the accountancy bodies of the world may change any of the convention to improve the quality of accounting information. These accounting conventions may not be universal. Because every country will have different conditions, different environment, different practices, usage. So a country can change. A country can change their conventions so that the quality of financial information will be improved. 
that means financial statement will become more reliable next uh, accounting conventions need not have universal application just now i told you no universal application for conventions because these are the practices on the basis of usage now accounting concepts accounting principles and accounting conventions have been used interchangeably to mean those basic points of agreement on which financial accounting theory and practice are formed finally finally we can say these accounting concepts accounting conventions accounting process uh, accounting principles are interchangeably used synonymous these are the basic conditions these are the rules these are the practices which are followed in financial accounting in theory as well as practices so every accountant must to follow certain rules certain practices certain assumptions while preparing the financial statements and we can say these are the foundation of accountancy if we do not follow these principles rules concepts then there will not be any comparison between different accountants there will be confusion in understanding the reliability the understandability of financial statements will come down so no confusion if we follow the same principles or the principles should be disclosed on what basis accounting is based now now i am going to discuss you the different accounting concepts and accounting conventions the first accounting concept is entity concept entity concept means business entity concept every accountant will treat the owner and the business as two separate entities two separate persons that means the transactions of the business should be kept separate from the personal transaction of the owner the owner personal transaction and business trans transaction should not be integrated should not be clubbed if it is clubbed then we cannot be able to find out the performance financial performance of the business financial worth of the business that is the reason why the accountant will treat the business and the owner as separate entities this concept is not only applied to corporate enterprises but also to non corporate like sole trading concern or partnership every organization we have to apply this accounting concept entity concept second one is money measurement concept in recording the transaction we consider only monetary transactions non monetary transactions are not considered even if it is very important example the skill of the employees the loyalty of the employees the efficiency qualification experience of the employees these are the things which will contribute to the success of the organization but these things are not recorded because skill cannot be measured the experience cannot be measured the efficiency cannot be measured so these are those variables qualitative variables so qualitative variables will not find any place in accounting in spite that these variables are very important only monetary transaction the transactions which are in terms of money that will be recorded next accounting concept is periodicity concept actually accounts will begin from the date when the business started and accounting will end when the business is closed but the business may take a number of years for example a business may take 100 years so should the accountant wait for 100 years to close the accounts no in that case the life of the business will be divided into parts each part is for normally 12 months so every one year the accountant will close the accounts close the accounts to find out what is the performance during one year period and what is the position at the end of the period then from the next day onwards new accounting will be started so this periodicity concept says that accounts should be closed periodically to find out the result of the activities that is called periodicity concept now normally in india we follow financial year as the accounting year financial year will begin from 1st april of a year and ends on 31st march of the next year so during this year 
how much profit earned, how much loss incurred. And on 31st March, when we close the accounts, what is the financial position? In this way, we prepare the accounts called periodicity concept. Next comes accrual concept. This accrual concept is based on mercantile system of accounting where revenue and expenditure will be recorded according to when they are earned, when they are incurred, not when cash is received or cash is paid. So in this case, according to accrual system, all expenditure incurred during a period, whether paid or not. Similarly, all income earned during the year, whether received or not. So all expenditure incurred and all income earned that will be recognized during the period not when cash is paid or cash is that is the reason why when we follow accrual system of accounting we adjust outstanding expenditure outstanding income similarly expenditure paid in advance the so outstanding and prepaid will be adjusted if we follow accrual system of accounting next comes matching concept in order to find out the result that is profit or loss we have to match the revenue with the expenditure so whatever revenue we have earned in during a particular period that should be recognized similarly whatever expenditure incurred during the period should be recognized then we match the revenue and expenditure will get the result either profit or loss so matching concept says in order to earn the revenue during a period of time the expenditure related to that revenue the expenditure incurred related to earn the revenue should be matched then only we can be able to get the profit or loss Next one is going concern concept. According to going concern concept, the business is viewed as going to continue for a long period of time. That means foreseeable future period of time. There is no intention to close down the business and no necessity to wind up or curtail the activities of the business. No intention on the part of the owner to stop the business he is going to continue the business for a foreseeable future keeping in mind that uh, the business is going to continue for the foreseeable future we will maintain the accounts contrary to this if the owner has the intention to stop the business during the year then the accounts must be suitably adjusted but normally an accountant will assume that business is going to continue for the long period of time during the foreseeable future. That's all. So in examination, you may get very frequently explain the accounting concepts. So these are the concepts which I have explained. You can write in examination. So my suggestion to my students, whenever you watch the video, keep a notebook pen ready. Note down the points which I'm explaining and take the screenshot of these points this will be very much helpful before examination to revise so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel give your comment subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and uh, mm, purchase the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue the next topic in the next video